G'day everyone and welcome back to the channel. LEGO Ideas have just released their second wave of the LEGO Ideas review for 2022 and this time 51 sets have made that milestone so let's have a look at it. Let's talk about it. So we are on the LEGO Ideas, uh, their website here. I'll leave a link in the description so you guys can see this. But pretty much how this works is if you make your own creation of a LEGO set, you can submit it to LEGO Ideas. And if that set does get 10,000 voters or more, it will go into, it will qualify for the review. And LEGO will have a look at all the sets that um, made that 10,000 vote. And then they can decide whether, what ones they will turn into like an official LEGO set. And that's what all the idea sets are. But you can jump on here and have a read up the top here of how it works and that type of stuff for yourself but let's get into it 51 product um, lego ideas qualify for the second 2022 lego ideas review so there's 51 sets we're going to have a look at so let's get straight into it but as you can see it just says here this morning we have closed the latest reviewed qualification round with a massive 51 submissions reaching the 10,000 supporter milestone and qualifying for the second 2022 review so they do only do a couple of reviews per year but the first set on the list is the lilo and stitch the beach house by it's a brick Life 626. A few minifigs there, obviously based on um, the Disney movie Lilo and Stitch. So that's a nice little looking set there. Then we do have the Indiana Jones Raider of Lost Ark 40th Anniversary. Another one there. I'm just going to start scrolling through these, but obviously pause it if you want to have a closer look or follow that link and you'll be able to have a good look yourself. Further to this, you can actually click on the name and it will bring you to its own page where you can read a bit of a description, get any updates, and um, you can obviously see any more photos of that set in depth as well but let's go back we're just going to have a look at the first one of each from so we do have the motorized steampunk skyship we've got the auto repair garage that's by lego ceo we've got the escape game carter's secret by brick project then we'd have the fishing in muddy waters by ralph Ranghol. then we do have the lisbon tram moving on to the medieval alchemist by mr b then we've got the Working Orrery by Lego Monkey. Jim Henson's Labyrinth, so there's a Labyrinth set there. We've got a Working Polaroid by Julian G12. The Lego Mushroom House by Jonas Cream, which gives me kind of like Smurf vibes, that one does. The Art Center, which I do like the look of this because it's kind of like a modular-esque. That would fit well into a Lego City. Then we do have the World of Civil Engineering. The University of Brickester. We've got a Tuscan Villa by Galaxy Triple Three. Our traditional Japanese village. Then we've got the Krusty Krab from SpongeBob SquarePants. Let's see if they bring the um, SpongeBob set back. Uh, what else have we got? We've got the Viking Village by Brickhammer. We've got a Firehawk by Select 024. Medieval Guarded Inn. Love the medieval theme type sets. Taskmaster, which is based off that uh, the UK show where um, celebrities, they're given different tasks to do. It's quite bloody funny, actually. We've got the um, Ski Chalet uh, by JK Brickworks. We've got a Red London Telephone Box by Bricked1980. Then we do have the Witch House by Caster Troy and Max Bridge. Nice looking set. I like that one. Uh, Terraria, which is another one based off a game. Uh, the Old Train Engine Shed by Mind the Brick. We've got The Great Wave of Kanagawa by Lego Overwatch. We've got The A Team by Mockturnal. Then we do have uh, Gravity Falls set oh, based off a TV show, uh, which is by Mini Brick Productions and Top Lego 8. Then we do have The Treasury by The Predescent. Predescent. Uh, Chinese Garden. I like the Chinese sets as well. They look nice and that tree's done really well. I like the look of that tree. Uh, Sony Walkman by Jerak. We've got a Golden Trumpet Tree with Park Bench. That's a small set. That's pretty cute. Then we've got the Heart Stopper Char uh, Charlie's Room by Feast. The Medieval Watchtower by Peter Keith. Got a Garfield set here, which is uh, two in one. So you'll be able to have a look and see what um, the other one would look like. There you go. So you can see him laying down in bed. Then we do have the Armada Port by Brickhammer. We've got Ed and Edna's Scrap Junkyard by Generic Stud. We've got Matu 
Matart New Rises. Sorry about that. Uh, Bionicle tri uh, Tribute Set by Axelford. We've got a working log flume, fairground water coaster. So rather than a roller coaster, we've got a, a water coaster here. That's pretty cool. We've got a sea turtle by Lego Overwatch. So an another one by um, by that fella there. The green sea turtle. That's beautiful. I, lo I love that one. That's one of my favorites. Then we have the Ratatouille uh, Let's Open the Doors. That one, um, I think, reached 10,000 pretty quick, actually. I remember when that one got announced, it hit 10,000. We've got the Clockwork Solar System. Another cool looking one. We've got Bluey, that's based off of a TV show here in Australia. I think an episode or so, or I don't even know if the whole thing's been banned in the US. Just freaking stupid. I don't know bloody why, just because of because I had court stuff. Like, my God, seriously, grow up. Uh, Bluey, popular TV show. If you haven't seen it, watch it because it's bl bloody funny. It's a show that both, uh, like, obviously parents and uh, kids do, do enjoy. Makes you do look like an inferior dad compared to... Um, Compared to the dad in the show. Uh, the Goonies 360 by Salad Bricks. We've got Lego Cats by Lego Truman. We've got Thomas the Tank Engine, which will be my son's favourite ever set. Bloody Thomas the Tank Engine. Then we've got the Ancient Greek Temple by HP Brickstar. That's a beautiful looking set as well. Night at the Museum, Reopen the Door. Another one similar, um, but by the same maker as the, the, the Ratatouille set. Then we do have the Nightmare Before Christmas as the last one, and that is another amazing one. So let me know your thoughts down below. What are your what's your favorite one? And predictions for we'll just say top three out of all these sets, what are the top three in your opinion that are most likely to be reviewed and to be successful going forward and to actually become an official Lego set? Leave your top three down below. And we'll see how we go. I'll leave a comment down below with my predictions of my favourite top three and what ones I reckon would have the best chance of making it. And um, at the end of it, we'll see who's right. But anyway, guys, um, and the, actually also you can see that there is the first wave of our 2022 LEGO results. You'll be able to click that here and have a look. We won't go through it in this video because this was back in May of 2022. But as I said, I'll leave a link so you guys can have a look as well because there's just a few of them in there from what are being reviewed this year as well but anyway guys um smash the like button subscribe to the channel and i'll see you beautiful people in the next one bye